public health professionals in Nigeria have underscored the need to work together as a team in the 21st century to attain universal health coverage and ensure preparedness for emergencies. And these were the major focus at their fifth scientific conference. Details in this report. Nigeria is undergoing transitions in the healthcare system that include a double burden of infectious and non-communicable diseases and transition from concessional donor assistance towards domestic financing for health. These transitions will affect Nigeria's attainment of universal health coverage. As the Society of Public Health Professionals of Nigeria gather in this hall, the focus is to learn to work together as a team in the 21st century. Universal health coverage has two important arms. Without paying attention to them, you are just a fool yourself. The one is primary health care. The second is universal health insurance. And you know that these two issues are child's play in Nigeria. Because when we talk about public health, it's Art and science of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health. It's not only about health sector alone. For example, look at last month we have this anthrax. So the veterinary association is part of this association. We look at food security. When we look at flooding, environmental health. So if we all come together to work as a team, then we are sure we can render our populace, we enjoy good health. What are the major gaps in knowledge and capacity for universal health coverage advancement in terms of demographic, epidemiological, and financing transitions? I think it is when the country is committed to do something, we will do it. I believe we have enough resources in this country if we use it well for all of them. How much are we asking for? And how much? Are we losing legally? Half of that will solve all the problems we're talking about. Nigeria is very low. And the problem is because, one, people are not aware. Two, people don't have the means to pay. There's a health insurance, but the uptake is low. And until we create awareness and also get a buy from the people, then their services cannot be available, particularly to those that need it most. Current policies driving major health reforms like the National Health Act appear adequate to support UHC advancement in theory, but policy implementation is a key challenge. The professionals also share their thoughts on emergency preparedness in the country. Yeah, well, the, the JEE has just shown that there's some improvement, but then when you look at the improvement, we move from 37% to 54%. And if you have aiming for 100, that's still a long way off. We have made progress from where we were. We've learned a lot from Ebola and COVID, but we're still not at the place where we can say, oh, my pregnancy is top notch. We're about maybe far top 10, 50 percent. To address these challenges, collaborative effort are needed to bridge knowledge gaps and increase policy awareness through targeted knowledge products, improved communication, and interagency collaboration. Justin Akadonye. Plus TV News Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.